Talk a little bit about the production values for the show, because I think that's a really important thing to share with the audience out there. Yeah. Tell them what they're going to see when they walk in, because it's not just going to be a concert. No, no, it is not a concert. The, um, the costumes are uh, are coming from uh, from Scaramouche Costumes, which is owned by Mark Apple and Bob Jacobson, who are two very good friends of mine that I met doing musical theater <laughs> four, a couple years ago. <laughs> Three uh, years yeah. ago. Um, <laughs> And they had just acquired Scaramouche Costumes when I met them, and um, and the costumes that we have for this production, most of them, are are directly from City Opera's production of Sweeney Todd. Now, City Opera's production was directed by Harold Prince, who directed the original Broadway. When Harold Prince was contracted to do City Opera's production, he insisted on bringing in his same design team, because he wanted to do the same costumes, the same sets, the same everything that he had done. So the costumes on City Opera, which are the ones that we're using, are an exact replica of the Broadway costumes, and they were built to the same standards that the Broadway costumes yeah. were built. These costumes are built to stand the test of time, and they are gorgeous. I mean, the, oh, so just the millinery work, the hats alone on the on the show mm -hmm. are, are extraordinary. Um, we have a really talented set designer, Bo Kennedy, who has worked professionally in the city and worked all over the place. Uh, he's worked at Bickford, and he's doing our set, and the set's being built off-site at a barn <laughs> in, in Basking Ridge. It will be disassembled, put on a truck, and trucked over here and reassembled here on uh, the Sunday before we open. So we will have the elevated platform the and elevated the chair and all of it. And we have the chair was built uh, based upon the the, uh, the blueprints from the Broadway chair. We have the same chair. The razors have been our design. I don't want to give away all the secrets, but the, you know, the, <laughs> every, all the, the razors are done uh, the right way, mm -hmm. the way they're supposed to be done, so that it's real dope. Yeah, real dope. Do we all get a chance to ride the chair? That's really <laughs> what I'm wondering. That's sure, I really anytime you'd work. like, Shane. <laughs> just let me get my razor <laughs> ready. <laughs> as long as it's the fake plastic one. That's fine. What? <laughs> There's no fake plastic. Yeah, oh. don't listen to him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> but yeah, that man has been lifted. Sorry. <laughs> the production qualities here are always so high. And talk about music. Oh, oh yeah. the 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 score was scored uh, was scored originally for multiple pieces. I think twenty, it's about 20, sure, 20, yeah. 20 plus pieces. But there had been uh, Jonathan Tunick, who was the original orchestrator on the piece, had done a, a, a truncated, a shorter orchestra version with nine pieces, and that is the orchestration that we are using. And we are doing. All nine pieces are covered, and they're all covered with professional musicians. So mm -hmm. we'll be coming yeah. in in about a week and a half, and we have our, our first orchestra rehearsal yeah. with them, which is always my most exciting rehearsal. Every year they blow me away. Yeah. Yeah. Every year. It's, it's like, the most, it's my favorite part. It's of the essential. Rehearsal. The Sits Probe is my favorite. Mm -hmm. like, I, was, I remember the, light, um, the little night music Sits Probe. I was just like, I think I was moving that day. I looked like a mess. But they looked fantastic and sounded fantastic. Um, but it just blows you away. Well, and also, we haven't cut anything. No. Like, there's all these optional things. Like, everything is in. Yes. We're doing the whole enchilada. As and we will, and we will keep doing the whole enchilada, and we, but we're still going to bring it in on time. Yes, yeah. we are. Yes. You know me and pacing. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna, I crack the whip a lot on pacing. I apologize. Yeah. <laughs> I apologize. So, no, because it really no, 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 it's good that you do. The piece, especially a piece like this. A piece yeah. like this, if it gets too, if it gets too, too long, if it, either if it's too rushed, mm -hmm. you'll miss what's going on, you'll miss important plot points, and if it becomes too long and too, you, you allow too much space, you start losing the audience's interest. So there's a, there's a balance that needs to be stricken, and, and we're already working on pacing. Mm -hmm. I'm always working on pacing. Mm -hmm. Well, also, Stephen, just uh, since we're on music, yes. I think Stephen, our, Stephen Fox, our music director, who has been at least last year. Yeah, year he's before, two years now. Yeah, now. two years. Um, you can tell how much passion he has for the piece, oh, too, yes. because we don't waste a second. Mm -hmm. If we are waiting for something, he's like, come here, let's talk, let's do this, let's go over this. And he cares about every single note being right, and the... And and he he's been giving us a lot of really great tips and too the about behind the intention behind the intention behind it and mm -hmm. how to make that come through in your voice and you know all those things and and he's he always gets, has a great pit too so I'm just I'm so excited for this it's broke but he's really his passion for really making sure that it is right and also still makes sense and tells the story yes has been. Top notch. Well, that's, and that's why I love working with Stephen and Samantha, yeah. our choreographer. Yeah, I yeah. know there's not a lot of dance in this show, per but se. But there's movement. But there is movement, yeah. and and she's always so much fun to work mm -hmm. with. I mean, she's uh, she's she's, so she's danced professionally. Yeah. She's yeah. acted professionally. Yeah. She's the former National American Miss Teen. She's probably going to be embarrassed that I said <laughs> that. But she just she just choreographed the Miss New Jersey pageant yeah, this nice. past weekend. So that. she was she she got you know she she does a lot of stuff, yeah. and, and all three of us because she's an actress as well approach what we do from a telling the story point of view and about being honest, like what Julie mm -hmm. was saying before. All three of us take that kind of approach, which is why the three of us really love yeah. working together. Yeah. And I think that that transitions and that reads and spills over into the cast. 
and everyone everyone seems like we all we're, I, it always feels like and I don't know if I'm just I just get lucky or it's because it's the people that I'm assembling or it's this great company or a little bit of everything but everyone feels like we're all on the same page yeah. and trying to do the same thing and I've been in shows where it feels like there's a push and a pull mm -hmm. between certain things and yeah. everything's not um, not doesn't flow as smoothly mm -hmm. Of course, it's difficult and it's hard and it's work, but everyone's working to the common goal of telling this incredible, sprawling story. Yeah. And I'm just so excited that I get to tell it yeah. at this venue, with yeah. this company, with this ridiculous cast. <laughs>